It's a big gun without a bullet. Words from a defense attorney representing one of five persons charged in the multi-million dollar corruption saga involving the Education Ministry and the Caribbean Maritime University, CMU. Investigators claim that over $56 million was diverted for the personal use of former Education Minister Ruel Reed. Mr. Reed, his wife and daughter, President of the Caribbean Maritime University, CMU, Professor Fritz Pinnock, as well as Counselor for the Brownstown Division, Kim Lawrence Brown, were all granted bail when they appeared before the St. Andrew Parish Court today. Now, TVJ's Andrea Chisholm was in court and now joins me live. Andrea, how did it play out this morning in court? Uh, well, first of all, Herman, I must tell you that former Education Minister Ruel Reed actually smiled and waved to some members of the media and other persons when he entered the courtroom. He sat beside his wife, Sharon, and from time to time, they exchanged a few words interspersed with brief chuckles. At one point, she asked him, you're all right, but I'm not quite sure of Mr. Reed's response. Well, for his daughter, Cheryl, she sat quietly in the prisoner's dock in her black and white polka dot dress and black cardigan beside her mother. Counselor Kim Brown Lawrence, she was also silent. Now, for CMU President Professor Fritz Spinock, he actually greeted a gentleman with a pleasant smile and gave him a thumbs up. It's also interesting to note that none of the five accused were wearing handcuffs. Pleasantries aside, Clerk of Court Hansard Lawson outlined that from October 2018, investigators began a probe which uncovered several breaches of the Proceeds of Crime, Larceny and Corruption Prevention Acts. Investigators claim that $56 million was diverted from the CMU and Education Ministry for personal use by Mr. Reed. Here's how. Fictitious invoices and memos were created to support the scheme through the Career Advancement Program Youth Employment Solutions CAPS. Persons such as Councillor Brown Lawrence got contracts to provide meals to students, but there were no meals. Still, Professor Fritz Spinock would authorize payments. The contractors would then transfer the money to Mr. Reed's bank account or hand it personally to him. Other persons were even employed to provide certain duties for Mr. Reed, including close protection officers and drivers. So, how does the daughter fit in? Well, Mr. Reed was entitled to a domestic helper as education minister, and the ministry would pay for the services. So the helper was hired to the ministry without her knowledge. A bank account was opened so that Mr. Reed could get access to the funds. He told his daughter to take the debit card from the helper once the account was opened. As for the wife, she allegedly received over a million dollars from the helper's bank account. The court was also told that Mr. Reed used his position as education minister to influence the employment of persons to the CMU. One such person, his wife, Sharon, who is the legal affairs manager. The clerk of court said Mr. Reed instructed Mr. Pinnock to hire his wife. In the end, Ruel Reed was granted bail in the sum of $3 million, his wife $1 million, daughter $500,000, Pinnock $2 million, and Brown Lawrence $1 million. They were ordered to give their fingerprints to the police and report to the cops on Wednesdays and Saturdays from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. A stop order was issued, their travel documents surrendered, and they are not to be seen at the CMU or Education Ministry. January 23, 2020 is the next mentioned date. Andrea, how exactly did the defense lawyers react to all these allegations? Well, let me tell you quickly about the legal team, uh, Herman. We have about, oh, well, let me just tell you them. You have Carolyn Chuck, and she is representing the Reeds. That's Ruel Reed, his wife and daughter. Christopher Townsend is representing Councillor Kim Brown Lawrence, and Hugh Wildman is representing Professor Pinnock. Now, Mr. Wildman, who spoke first, was quite colorful in court. He said the case sounded like a big gun without a bullet, and it was to, quote, revive the political, the waning political fortunes of some persons. Now, after he said that, a number of persons in the courtroom started clapping, and that forced the police officer to say, if I get one more outburst from here, everybody around there going outside. Okay, <laughs> thanks, Andrea. We, of course, will be following that.